All right, folks, we are here, back in Hickory, North Carolina. Yep, inside Pitch Promotions. It's another toy show. So let's go. And they have Spider-Man here, greeting you as you uh, get your ticket. Yeah. And oh my goodness, this is a huge show today. Check this out. Yeah. And there's Jeff over there. You gotta check out Jeff's booth. Of course, he's got always cool stuff in his uh, booth. But yeah, this is a big show today. Huge. Yeah, we're gonna go walk around and check it out. There's my friend Carl, selling his comic books. He's the only comic book dealer here. I don't know why. He just sneaks in. They let him in every time. I don't understand why. This show actually has a lot more vintage toys here than uh, the one that we were just at. Uh, not it was like last week. But, um, yeah, we're going to go through all this fun stuff here. I love the Planet of the Apes. Check those out. For Miko. Yeah, check out Tana right there. He's pretty cool. I think, uh, I think Mark's made those. I can't remember. But uh, those are cool. Just kind of go along here. Uh, check these out right here. That's pretty neat right there. Let you get the hamburger or get Captain Cook there. There's McDonald's. He's right there. It's 35 for him. Uh, Roadrunner right there. It's pretty cool. Got some uh, Weeble Wobbles. Remember those? The Weeble Wobbles. Got the uh, Wizard of Oz. Look at all these Indiana Jones here. I'm not sure. These may be the newer ones that have just come out. Got some wildcats here. Dick Tracy, very nice. And yeah, look, at Captain Hook right there. Yeah, Fred Flintstone there playing the uh, xylophone. And that's from Fisher Price. And that Hopalong Cassidy thermos, that's pretty cool. Then Yogi Bear. And this is Mike. Yeah, Mike's got a great booth. Be sure to check him out. And here's his card right here. That's a great name, Mike and Boys Vintage Toys. So check him out. And uh, when you're at the shows, he's like one of the guys that really have the vintage toys. I love seeing his shop. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Mike's awesome. And he, uh, I mean, he carries the real deal as far as vintage toys go. Um, check these out. All the cap guns here. Used to have these as a kid. But some of these are actually a lot older than me. So <laughs> you're talking about back in the, some of those are back in the 40s and 50s right there. But he's got a lot of March stuff, which I love a lot of the March toys. Check these out. I mean, he's got all kinds. Look at the Civil War guys, $2 each. He's got probably one of the better Marks uh, collections that I've seen at most shows. I mean, he's got tons. He's got the, also the metal toys, too, soldiers. Look at these Marks. And check out the model tanks. Those are cool. And he still has the box sets, the uh, Alamo, Prehistoric Times. Check him out. He's cool. I love all his uh, his collection. Just amazing, and I actually had this one as a kid. Mom bought me that. I think we get it at like uh, Sears or something like that back in the early '70s. And uh, I mean, he's got he's got still in the box. Check all that out. Incredible. I mean, just his booth alone. <laughs> he's got a lot of stuff I want for sure. He's got a nice little loose box here of Star Wars figures. He's got T-shirts as well. Check the old X-wing fighter. And I got the cloud car here. This is so cool. Planet of the Apes. And he's not ridiculous, you know, he's not overpriced either. He's got really good prices on his toys. Walk over here and see more marks. He's got bunches. I love the wagon too. And check out some of the GI Joes. Look at that. That is awesome. And again, like I said, he's well priced too. He's not uh, crazy overpriced at all. Yeah, might have to pick him up because I, I don't have the blonde hair uh, G.I. Joe in my collection. Might need to get him. And look, he's got some more down here as well. A lot of cool suits for your G.I. Joes. I've really gotten into a lot of the vintage stuff recently for G.I. Joe. Yeah, he's got a nice collection and also Mark's. Yeah, Mike's awesome. I love his booth. I mean, he's got the real vintage stuff that I grew up with and even older. And, of course, you've got your die casts and pops yeah i've got so much to look at today because this 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 show's massive <laughs> this is bigger than normal look at that and this whole building way back in the back too yeah this it's just filled 
with uh, toy goodness all through here. Yeah, uh, I'm going to definitely find a few things. Check that tank out. That is so awesome. Definitely scale to the uh, vintage G.I. Joe's. I'm, I'm believing he has RC. That's so cool. And check out that cannon too. He's got some nice stuff at this booth. And check out these uh, Lex Luthor. You got uh, Superman's dad. And these are so awesome. And I believe that's based on the Christopher Reeves. Superman. And that one's pretty cool. Castle Freak. Legends of Horror. You also got the Andre the Giant Bigfoot from the $6 million man. Well, the remake version of him. Great assortment of Black Series figures. And they're well priced. They're not crazy overpriced at all. Lots of vendors with uh, die cast, which is really nice. You've also got the uh, Lego miniatures here, too. This table just flooded with them. Full of Lego figures. More pops here. And I'm also uh, looking for uh, um, some of the Lord of the Rings figures, but he's got all kinds of cool uh, McFarlane Black Series figures, the new G.I. Joe series, the classified figures down at the bottom. Got to get to sit through them. I guess we'll get some of the Nika monsters down there too. And be sure to sift through the bins under the table. You might find some cool stuff to add to your collection. He's got a lot right here too. And uh, He Man over here. You got Legends. You got Spawn. There's a cool one right there. Hot Wheels, of course. More pops. Look at all this toy goodness. That's pretty neat. Transformer helicopter. Also got some vinyl here too. Classics. Five dollars each. Not bad at all. Just slowly making my way through each of the aisles. Right now I'm just like looking. If I come back to it and I see a certain item and it's gone, well, you know, you snooze, you lose. But I just got to see all these wonderful toys on each of these tables. Hot Wheels. Get the VHS too. Some of the classic children's books and toys. More Hot Wheels over here. Man, there's just so much to look at. Each of these tables are just awesome. Oh, he's got uh, Mythic Legion right here. Nice. Got all the uh, McFarlane DC over here. Yeah, I, I still haven't gone down that rabbit hole just yet. And I, I might get one or two eventually. There's some really cool ones I want to get. You got comic books. Just slowly make my way around. Oh, over here. Oh, check it out. The Toxic Crusaders right there. Those are cool. He's got all kinds. I love these here. Universal Must Monsters right here. It's a cool set. He's got the whole thing, it looks like. Yeah, these are awesome. You got the old uh, Tyco RC cars right there. Those are neat. Yeah, I love that holster set right there for 80 bucks. Very cool. And that Robbie the Robot is pretty cool. It's got a little remote control for Ben Planet. That's real nice. Oh man, I remember these from the early 80s. The uh, baseball awesome all-star bubblegum stickers. These are neat. Yeah, I, I went open those up and uh, chew the gum. That's for sure. And check out these amigos right here. You got Starsky and Hutch right there. You got Boss Hog and you got Bo Duke right there. Still in their package. And they're around 80 bucks each. I do remember having him. I'm just trying to remember his name, but right there, the laser gun would have a piece of plastic, clear plastic, and it would light up. You have the batteries in the backpack here. Uh, the, that's pretty cool. It, it's a lot like the Cylon from uh, Battlestar Galactica. And I love these peanuts here, too. And Mickey. Uh, you got Woodstock, Sylvester. Got some of the uh, historic figures right here, too. That's pretty cool. Those are neat. And you got Hillbilly Jim. Right there, JBL. Well, it looks like he's almost got the entire set of uh, the Dungeons and Dragons here at his booth. And I was looking at this shark guy. I missed him last week. Uh, they were at the uh, Hillsville show. Um, and I missed him. He's 60 bucks for him. He looks pretty cool, though. Set him down. I guess he's not standing up on his own. But it's all kinds of Nika. He's got the uh, Marvel Legends here. And, uh, yeah, he's got a nice selection right here. Some more cool Tonka toys here and 10 toys. And you get the old Barbie party van right there. Oh, I love this Snoopy in a spacesuit. He's 50 right there. And you get the uh, shuttle there from Star Trek. 
and you get a rancor still in this box check out these classic super soakers right here those are so cool i'd probably uh yeah now the two i'd get him get a lot more water got a lot of nice lucy's here got giant man there and he goes for like 250 yeah these are awesome this barbecue right there i think he's called barbecue isn't he right, gi joe yeah and uh yeah he's got a lot of cool lucy's oh look he's got the nasty boys right there now this gentleman here, he, he always has some really cool deals here. That's him there, the Hawaiian shirt on. And I've got uh, some of my Space 1999 figures from him. But he's got some really cool vintage stuff here. I'm gonna kind of rummage around here and see what I find. I wow, I like these old Lego guys. Kind of remind, remind me of the Shogun Warriors. Those are pretty cool. And this is from Mezco. It's uh, the Angel of Death from Hellboy uh, 2. He looks pretty cool. He's 125. See, here's... Here's the real uh, Aowen right here. <laughs> Check this custom out. Oh, Aomir. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's correct, but it, <laughs> it's pretty cool, though. And that's pretty cool. The RT1, RT2, RT3 from Infinity Saga right here. Iron Man's old chest piece. That's pretty cool. And check out that Batcave playset right there. Now that is pretty neat. And it's got the uh, bat signal on the top. And I always love these uh, little book activity book sets here. I think I've got all of them, but uh, it looks like, yeah, they're pretty much uh, all of them here. I think there might be two more, but that's pretty cool. And I've got him at home right there. He's got a little wear and tear. He actually still has his propeller on him. Yeah, those are really cool. Yeah, I've got him. Got some autographs too. Yeah, check that out. That uh, Julie Newmar. That's pretty neat. And I love that Space 1999 lunchbox. He's got this old carry case gun here from Return of the Jedi, the laser rifle. He's 200. But check this out. He's got a million falcon in this plastic case. AFA 80 right there. Sealed contents. $3,500 for him. Well, the first thing I've seen for Big Jim is his camper right there for 25 It's actually not too bad. Checking out this booth here. Check out the old Allied Lines truck there too. Yeah, it's just a nice Tonka in here as well. Very cool. I love these two board games, James Bond and Charlie's Angels. I've also got this Seawolf submarine for G.I. Joe for 150 Got a tub full of uh, wrestling figures here. I kind of cut back on that right now. It's, it's got to be a certain character for sure. I'm looking for uh, Kent Patera. That's the one I need for my collection. Really nice selection of NASCAR die cast. Yeah, it's about every kind of driver, especially lots of uh, Earnhardt. Check out this selection of Tyco RC cars, electric cars, the slot cars. Yeah, he's got all kinds here at this table. So cool. Oh, I love this one here, the train. That's neat. Yeah, he's got a great collection right there. I'm a bit overwhelmed right now. There are, there are a lot of vendors here. Check these out too. There's Fort Dearborn from Marks. But he's got all kinds of cool stuff over here too. Lots of vintage stuff. I've just picked up uh, Pee Wee the other week. Oh, he still has his little speaker thing there too. That's nice. And I think that's from the Waltons. That's gotta be from, yeah, it is. It's from the Waltons. Little Rascals. I'll pay you on Tuesday um, for a burger today. Uh, <laughs> oh, there's Mark. He's 60 for him. He's got his backpack too. That's very nice. I love that. And let's see, who is that? That's a, see there's Bo Duke and there's Luke Duke right there. He's 30 for him. And check out that Munsters right there. Cartoon kit for 20. Love that. That'd be great in the frame. There is just so much to look at. I mean, like tables like this. Look at all this. <laughs> just all kinds of stuff. Toy goodness. And of course you got your wrestling figures and your Ninja Turtles. And I love going through these piles of toys too. You never know what you might find. Yeah, you could find something in there to go with your collection. More Mark's toys. This is great. Check that out. That's actually, I think that's from the same mold as the uh, German set you come with, uh, comes with as well. Yeah, here's, I, I had this whole set. Iwo Jima. Yeah, I had that when I was a kid. $500 now. That's crazy. Probably when it was new, 15 bucks, if that. I love these model sets here. Check these out. King Kong, Godzilla, Dracula, 
monsters of the movies. Planet of the Apes. Wow. And Dracula. Very nice. And this is my friend Jeff's booth right here. He's got a, an amazing setup right here. He's got a lot more than the last time I've seen him. Got over here so I can see more of his stuff. Yeah, he's got a lot more for sure. Check out the turtles. Love those up there. Got a couple of those. But he's always got a great setup. He's got some wrestlers too. Star Trek figures. And uh, yeah, he's always near the front as you enter the uh, convention hall. Oh, check out these. Uh, what is that? Color forms. Oh, yeah, I remember those. Okay. So you got like a backdrop and you set up your own your cutouts here to that. That's pretty cool right there. I just love the artwork. That's nice. Check out this Pops vendor right here. Look at all his stuff. He's got tons. Wow. Huge selection of Funkos right here. And I'm sure he's got some rare ones as well. Very nice booth. More toy goodness on this side too. You're going to hear me say toy goodness a lot. Because that's exactly what it is. And I actually have one of these guys here. He's yeah, one of the other ones part of that set. You know, the one I have, he does all the farts. I think they all have their own individual noises they make. Yeah, they look pretty cool. And here's something you don't see much of, the Sean Cassidy doll. And there's Farrah. And that's Donnie and Marie right there. This booth here, he's got a great collection of Black Series figures opened up, little loose ones here. They, but they still have all their accessories with them. Yeah, they're well priced. You got some of the uh, Mandalorians up here too. Han and 3PO. And a couple of the droids. Yeah, he's got, these are actually really nicely priced. A lot of open Transformers here. And sometimes you get a good deal on the open ones as well. But sometimes not. Yeah, the real vintage ones, you're, you're going you're gonna to pay full price for sure. But yeah, he's got a nice little booth here with uh, Transformers. Nice selection of open pops here too. And I like the Wayne's World one. Garth and... Uh, and Wayne right there. That's a cool. That would be a cool set. Pee wee sprinky dinks. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. And I haven't seen any Big Jim yet. Still looking for Big Jim. More pops figures here. Oh, there's Buddy Elf and Papa Elf right there. Now this guy here is only 75. It comes with accessories. That's actually not a bad deal for him. That's a maybe. I do like that a lot. Yeah, good stuff. Love these rockets here. Kind of the old 1960s uh, Kennedy Space Center. Check that one out. The 50s. We got a space capsule there too. It's got figures in it as well. That's real, really unique and different for sure. I am just overwhelmed. All the Ninja Turtle stuff here. Really nice. And they got the bins down there. Make sure to check those out when you're at these toy shows. Right here. More vintage old school right here. Got Murder She Wrote board game. The castle from He-Man. Grace Y'all. Wow. All kinds of lunch boxes here too. Just love this. Guys. Look at all that. Hong Kong food. Right there. Lunch box. Very nice. I'm just looking at everything, taking it all in. More classics. And uh I'm guessing that's Farah, maybe. If I'm wrong, but it, that definitely looks like Farah Fawcett right there. Get, look at the Clint Evils too. And Howdy Doody over there. And some more of the Waltons. If you want an army build Skeletor, check that out. Get a, a boatload. You just want to get a shot of these old shampoo bottles. That's pretty cool right there. Check this out right here. These are so cool. Look at that. Buffy and Jody. Family Affair. And Green Acres. Those are so awesome. There's Buffy and her doll. Yeah, wow. They're like the paper figures. I do not know which direction to go. Wow. There's so much to look at. This is crazy. I just bought this Frankenstein here. Check him out right there. 30 bucks for him. That's really nice. If I see some monster stuff too, I'll uh, definitely look into that. I still haven't bought anything. There's Lady Death. That's a beautiful statue right there. I will definitely do our walkthrough with the music so you can see all the vendors as I walk by. Now, I've been looking for Sol Guerrera, and he's only 18 here. So, I might pick him up. I don't have him yet, and that's actually not a bad price because he's typically around 35 for this box. And this gentleman here, I always find some cool stuff on his table. So, you've got to kind of like sift through it all. 
but a lot of it is loose and you may have something you want but yeah make sure you go through his table and check it out yeah he's got some cool cool stuff Get all the females in one box the wrestlers um that's a good way to uh find what you're looking for so, yeah separate the female wrestlers from the male wrestlers and get a probably an easier time finding what you need of course we're here at this awesome show but we had to run into man cave collectibles what's up yeah. guys yeah awesome guy check out his site i'll have his link and i would hope you'd have my link on yours i do i will oh. i will how about, okay. how about i do let's do that yeah let's do that that's i awesome. promise to do that okay cool but yeah you gotta come to a toy show you gotta see this guy that's yeah. right he, he collects stuff. hey this toy show is amazing it though. is it, 400 I'm, tables guys it's growing 400? that's what they said really 400 tables biggest biggest they've ever had no one are, I'm, I'm overwhelmed i am too i, I still haven't picked up anything i'm sure i will by the time i leave yep but great run for this guy absolutely awesome and that was cool running to man cave yeah every now and then we'll run each other it's rare but we do awesome guy be sure to check his channel out and i i did pick up some gi joes and these aren't sports cards these are pokemon cards that's pretty cool all along here yeah i'm and again like i said i'm just overwhelmed and uh man cave was saying they have 400 vendors here uh yeah that's crazy they just had toy lana um but this is definitely in the, uh and running with them for sure if you've got uh, over 400 vendors here at the show that's pretty crazy um check these guys out and again yeah five dollars each down there i'm looking to see if they have hr puff and stuff if they have any hr puff stuff i would love to find some toys associated with that look at these guys those are pretty crazy right there some vintage Barbies. Check out, looks like one of the Seven Dwarves from Disney. Wow, he's got old treasures here. Check that scary clown out right up there. And you also got this guy from Sesame Street. I can't remember if I had him or not when I was a kid. And there's, oh wow, it's Henrietta Hippo. I don't know if you remember that show. Here, I'll post a picture of Henrietta Hippo. That's different. Yeah, you just don't see those little figures like that more black series right here there's an there's another guy that has some really cool stuff too black series figures i might have to pick up but uh check that out the death leopard hysteria pop set right there with the album cover that's pretty cool and there's a hard one to find right there and he's a uh, 85 for cody rhodes one of a 3000 very nice and there's eddie guerrero and there's actually one of the uh, jokers i've been looking for with his hammer yeah, that, one, that one's a hard one to find. Here's some more vintage goodness right here. Check all his stuff out. Really nice. All these tin toys are great. If toys could talk, I'm sure these would have a lot of stories to tell. Yeah, I just love this stuff. Check out this uh, pile of different guns and holsters right here. Cap guns, very nice. Yeah, I love the old Disney toys up there, too. Wow. This is great. Love all this. Piece of history right here. You can add it to your toy collection. And there's a skydiver airplane right there. I'm thinking that's probably either Remco or Marx made that. I'm not quite sure who made that, but that is pretty cool looking, though. And check out that riverboat showboat from Remco in the box still. Very nice. You got this at the scale. G.I. Joe Jeep right here. This cool patch booth right here with all these patches. Looks like it's, a lot of it's car related patches. Let's see what we got down here. Oh, you got a little bit more down here. We got sports related patches. S different states right here. That's neat. More cars here. A lot of racing and dragster racing patches. A lot of different tracks right here in the NASCAR circuit right there that's pretty cool also the indy 500 right there 
Yeah, that's pretty cool. Like all these very unique NASCAR patches. We are in, you're in NASCAR territory. This has been one heck of a show too. I mean, there's just hundreds and hundreds of people here and just so much to look at. I picked up a couple things, um, but uh, yeah, we're gonna do a walkthrough so you can see this entire show. And this is G.I. Dave's booth right here. And uh, talked to him for a while, but uh, yeah, here he is. He's got all kinds of cool G.I. Joe stuff. Dave, I love your booth, man. Well, thank you. It's thank great. You very much. Yeah, there's a, there's a shirt right there, so you know who he is. G.I. Yeah. Dave's toys. G. I. Dave, toys. Yeah, so be sure to check him out when you come to these shows. He's got some great stuff here. He's also got the McFarlane DC characters. He's got open Lucy's over there in Star Wars. And uh, yeah, he's got all kinds of cool stuff. He's also got the uh, Black Series, Star Wars. Look at all this wonderful box sets right here of different characters. Well, yeah, this is G.I. Dave's right here. This has been so much fun today. Seeing all these vendors and making new friends. And uh, seeing some other YouTubers, too, talking with them. And it's been a really, really good day. And I just didn't find any big gems, which I'm surprised about. But I hope you enjoyed the little walkthrough. There's just so much to see and take in in this convention. And like I said, they said there's 400 plus vendors here. I mean, this is this is massive. Check this out, the Spawn Dragster. That is so cool. It's 40 bucks. He comes with a figure too. And uh, like the dealer was saying, you never see the chain on the back of that Dragster. Check these belts out. These are so cool. They're around 280 bucks, 300 bucks around there, depending on which one you want to get. That Stone Cold's right there. So cool. And of course, he's got all these figures. That you can choose from. He's also got a bunch of Lucy's. You get the belts too that you can get for your figures. Yeah, he's got a great selection right here. This show has been amazing. Just so much to look at and see. But uh, hopefully, next time they have this show uh, and you come to it and it's about this size, yeah, it'll, it, I mean, it's just filled with amazing toys and collectibles. And the crowds are great too. And I just love going through these bands to you get some good deals here. Just don't know what you find. You get one of the characters right there from 300. That's pretty neat. Um, and I think that's from, uh, what's his name right there from, uh, what's the rabbit's name? Bucky. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, you can pick up stuff like this. He's 15 for him. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty neat. You could also own a bag of zombies. <laughs> And even at the toy show, you can find these cool vintage books here. Look at these titles. Not bad prices either. Very nice. I'll check that one out. John Cotter, right there, of Mars. And I think I'm about done. I am wiped out looking at all these wonderful toys. Hope you enjoyed the uh, tour of this wonderful Hickory Toy Show put on by Inside Pitch Promotions. Really awesome. Yeah. We'll be back again.
And of course, I've got to show you what I picked up. So I've got, this was a great find because these are in primo shape. These are of the animated uh, cartoon of The Hobbit and The Return of the King from the 70s. And these were like top, top shape. So I had to pick them up. Plus the, the two different covers of uh, the VHS. These are Sony VHSs. And yeah, I had to get these for sure to add to my uh, collection. See right there, 19... 77 right there but yeah it was great finding these and uh, i love the animation back from in that day and yeah it's, this is just a great uh, add-on to my lord of the rings collection and this was a fun little find this is a uh, bloth from uh, pirates of dark water found him i actually got him for a real good price three bucks can't beat that and i also picked up frankenstein from the real Ghostbusters from 1989, the animated series. Yeah, check it out. Here he goes. Yeah, man. Frankenstein looks cool. And last but not least, I picked up a Cobra Viper and also Stuart Outback Selkirk for $10 each. Yeah, he kind of had a, uh, a show deal going on. And I, of course, had to get them for $10 each. Can't beat that either.